Adesua Itome unveils fearless side following an AMVCA win, and the popular duo P Square finally settles their beef with the media giant Sound City. If I win, I am going to throw it down. Like, it's going to go down, you know. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? I'm Jason for Paul CB News. Victory, they say, is the sweetest, most especially if you have known the feat. The Nollywood actress Adesua Itome, who recently won the award for the best African actress at the recently completed edition of the AMVCA, has revealed her fearless side saying she's no longer afraid. I think now that it's finally here, my nerves have kind of taken a, 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 a step back and I'm more excited now than I am nervous. Adesua Itomi, who beat the likes of Genevieve Naji in Say Quiet Team, Fulu Mugovani and Mary Lazarus to win the award, expressed her fearlessness when she told the fans to do the same as she said. I'm not afraid anymore. Be fearless. Hashtag Fearless Friday. The super talented actress won the 2016 AMVCA Best Actress for her role as Muna in the movie Falling. Next on the news, the long time feud between the media giant Sound City and Africa's finest duo P Square has finally been squashed. The beef which started in 2015 following a Twitter fight between P Square and Sound City was ended after Peter and Paul Okoye of Duo posted on Instagram thanking the CEO Tajuddin Adepetu for giving peace a chance. The reason for their misunderstanding was the allegation that Sound City had been boycotting P Square's videos, refusing to play it on their platform. I guess all is well between them right now because after the whole saga between Peter Okoye and Judo Koye, even Paul Okoye, trust me, P Square could use some really good publicity right now so that we can all focus on the music and forget the whole rumors that they were about to break up. And that's it on Pulse TV News. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and follow us on all our social media platforms. Until next time, my name is Jason and it's been Pulse TV News.